Hey guys, it's Joel from guntoter.org. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna to be talking about the Parachuter Gear Type 56M chest rig. Now as always, before we do that, if you can go down in the corner, like, share, subscribe, and if you can go down into the description, check out our Patreon page. Uh, any way that you could support us would be greatly appreciated. Now with all that said, let's get into why we are actually here. Um, we're gonna be talking about a modern update to the classic uh, Chinese Type 56 chest rig made by Parachuter Gear. Now, we've divided this video into two parts. First, we'll talk a little bit about the original Type 56. So if you're not familiar with one, uh, or at least you're not sure you're familiar with one because you've probably seen a picture of it somewhere, um, we'll talk about what that looks like. And then we will talk about the Parachuter Type 56M and the improvements that they have made that make it a far more useful and far more versatile chest rig for today. With all that said, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the standard Chinese Type 56 chest rig. Um, this has been around since the 50s. Uh, some of the first photos that I think you'll see of it, and I'll try to put some up here on the screen, uh, you'll see them in Vietnam, and you'll actually see it being worn by both North Vietnamese and US soldiers. Uh, the North Vietnamese, the Viet Cong would wear it, but the Mac VSOG operators would also wear it. Uh, they would wear it uh, using either AK mags or uh, AR-15 slash M16 mags, depending on what they were rolling with at the time. And uh, so it's been in use both against and with uh, US special operations since Vietnam all the way up into the present day uh, in some of the more recent operations like in Afghanistan and Iraq. Um, there's some more pictures, I'll throw that one up real quick. Um, you know, US special operators in Afghanistan wearing this chest rig. So it's been around forever. It is, it is actually um, obviously functional uh, and it's inexpensive and it's, it's materials you can probably get about anywhere. So all it is is it's cotton canvas with these wooden toggles and then a couple of D-rings you know here on the sides so super low-tech uh, if you buy one of these surplus it's about 20 bucks uh, and it, it, there's a whole cottage industry that we'll talk about in a second about modifying these but kind of a basic overview so obviously you can see three mag pouches and then four miscellaneous pouches on the outsides uh, and then you have your your straps and then your, your back straps actually uh, don't have any sort of connections. You actually have to just tie these in the back. Um, but these side pockets, I'm not, supposedly they were, they were originally designed for an oil bottle pouch. So for your AK, you could carry a little oil bottle or something like that. Uh, maybe at one point in time, you'd also carry like a bandage or something else in them. Um, in kind of modern, modern day I'm not really sure what you could carry in here uh, you know if you're grand thumb maybe a surprise grenade uh, in these larger pouches here you might be able to carry like a small FRS GMRS radio uh, maybe some some admin stuff like a compass or batteries or something like that but they're not super functional the most functional thing on here is the three main magazine pouches which as you can see are technically single mag pouches uh, that is if you want the top to actually close now I have seen guys who will shove two mags in here. Uh, you won't be able to close the top, but you can you can at least uh, double your your carry capacity uh, if you if you jam extra mags in here. Um, kind of one of the downfalls, you know, is if you're talking about wanting to close your your mag pouches to retain mags, these little these little toggles are not super easy to use. So you know, to to get it open, you got to turn it, pop it out. So it's kind of a little slow, but if you you know, for whatever reason, you, you jam two in here, you pulled one out, and now you want to close it back up. It's actually even harder. Let's try to do this one-handed. It's actually even harder to get it closed than it is to get it open. It's actually much simpler to get it out. Um, there's a whole cottage industry, if you go online, of guys that are, that'll buy these, right? 20 bucks. You know, it's not like you're losing a whole lot of money buy these and fix them up, right? They'll pull these pouches off. Uh, they'll throw a hook and loop here. Uh, I've seen some guys actually pull these off completely and put, uh, you know, the, the little side release buckles on here. Um, so, I mean, if you're looking for something where 
it's it's a cheap piece of kit that's already kind of pre-built and you're only modifying it versus trying to build it from scratch I mean this is this is something to definitely consider if you want to kind of cut your teeth on gear modification you know you're not losing a whole lot with 20 bucks um, but as far as functionality uh, I would argue that it, it's somewhat limited in its functionality uh, just because of your you're limited to what you can carry um, these are not the most useful things you have like you can't even fit a Baofeng in there at least not and retain it you can probably shove it in there but it's not going to stay um, and then just you know speed and manipulation of getting into the mag pouches is just not there so while this is you know, obviously something that can be modified can be used otherwise the soft guys wouldn't have been running around with it it's not exactly peak performance so with that let's take a look at the parachuter gear type 56m and kind of see the improvements they've made and why i think it's for you ak guys especially it's a neat piece of kit so this is the parachuter gear type 56m now right off the bat you can see they've gone through and they have modernized the type 56 the most obvious being they have used modern materials so they've used nylon versus the heavy duty cotton uh, but they have also taken those random pouches on the side and switched it out for two columns of PALS webbing. So a lot more useful than the standard Type 56. You can change these out, you know, probably like a, a med pouch or a radio pouch, uh, something along those lines. But either way, you're actually going to be able to put something useful there versus trying to fit something into a pocket that already exists. Um, other little things, right? Like we don't have to tie anymore. We can actually... Uh, buckle so that's cool um, as you can see they did go with kind of a toggle system but they switched it up and I think they did um, a really good job with this so pop this off as you can see they went with a bar button instead of the wooden toggle and then here instead of going with just the cotton webbing loop they went with shot cord and this tab and the nice thing about the way they did this is instead of it being sewn in so if it wears out or you need to adjust it or you know pulls off or whatever um, you can't really fix the original type 56 unless you happen to know how to sew whereas with this one all you got to do is take a piece of shot cord tie it in a knot and you are back running um, another advantage of the way they did this is it's pretty easy to get back on but I think more importantly and I'm going to hold this down so it's like I'm wearing it it's much easier to open um, so a little bit faster to access your magazines and uh, I, I think that's kind of a big deal so in, in a way you still got the nostalgia of the of the old design but upgraded now um, to more modern standards uh, easier access to mags more modularity um, you know easier to put on and off and uh, some some other differences remember I told you on the type 56 you can possibly fit two mags in there without closing the top well this is tight enough you're not going to fit two mags in there even if you don't want to close the top so the, these are you are limited to three magazines in the mag pouches you're not going to be able to jam six in there um, on the back side, I'll talk about that real quick. On the back side, they have actually included a hook panel, and then it's covered by this loop backer. But if you are, you know, one of the individuals who likes to run subloads, you can run your subloads off of this chest rig. So while not everybody likes to do that, I think it's it's a neat idea. Um, you could probably use some of the other uh, back. Uh, compatible pieces in theory you could also use this as a uh, placard although you would still have to deal with the wings over here uh, but as you can see the one that I bought these are sewn in um, they do make a version where it has clips here instead of sewn in webbing so like I said you could actually use it as a um, as a placard but you would still probably have to buckle uh, around the back so it might be of limited use uh, if you're if you really like the way these magazine pouches are structured and but you want it as a placard versus a chest rig they actually make uh, a placard with the with three 
uh, mag pouches. They actually make one with four mag pouches as well. So it in their product line, right, I would recommend use the chest rigs as chest rigs if you're looking for a placard, then, then buy the placard. Um, if you want more magazines, they do make a, uh, a four magazine pouch with the two columns on each side and uh, they call that the Type 81. They also have a Type 79 which is a subgun uh, version. Uh, it does not have the the flaps, instead it just has bungee on top. But, you know, one more you know, one more version that I think you, you might want to take a look at. So, you know, just a quick overview of some of what they've got going on. Um, oh, and I, I mentioned the the version with the buckles versus the version with the straps. Uh, the one with the buckles you can use either an H harness or an X harness. So in addition to the fact that theoretically you could use it as a placard, uh, you could also, if you if the X harness, you know, the thin straps is just really not your jam, um, you can hook it up with an H harness uh, that they sell or you can use, you know, one of the H harnesses that are out there and, uh, you know, a little more comfortable for you. So that that is an option as well. So okay, so hopefully that was useful for you. Um, I know the Type 56 is out there. They're all over the place. Uh, historically, they're all over the place as well. You see them, you know, everywhere from Vietnam to Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, you probably still see them run around the Middle East and other places in Africa and and so on today. Uh, but I thought it was really cool how parachuter gear took you know almost a ubiquitous chest rig and modernized it, made it a lot more useful for us today, uh, especially with the popularity of the AK uh, in the United States. I think it's uh, it's about time for, for an update on the old Type 56. So it's an awesome chest rig. I really like it. I really like all the options and I love some of their other stuff that I mentioned, uh, like their placards, um, their larger chest rigs, and even their subgun chest rigs, you know, all cool ideas that you guys should check out. So. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, if you could help us out uh, at our Patreon page, please, you know, take a visit. Uh, everything we buy, or everything we review, we buy. Uh, we don't get anything for free, and we do that so that we can ensure that you get the most bias-free reviews possible, and uh, we're not just putting something out there because someone paid us to do it or gave us free stuff to do it. Um, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have one of these, uh, you like it, you don't like it, Hit up the comments. Um, we'd love to hear from you because it's always better when we're sharing information versus just me sitting here talking. And uh, I do read the comments. Yes, sometimes it takes me a little bit, but I do read them. Um, if there's a question there, I try to find the answer. And uh, you know, I also take suggestions. So if you want to throw that down there, feel free. Um, again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.